about two million people at minimum per year are affected by chronic wounds. Uh, numbers vary, but I'm going to be for a conservative number, and I'll say two million, but I'm sure there's a lot, lot more. Um, and certainly when you think about this number, there's two million people that are affected every year in the US. Uh, you think about the pain, the cost, the uh, emotional cost as well on the family and other people that are associated with the, the patient. It's awful. And put this into context, chronic wounds can potentially affect anyone. Forget age, forget gender, forget um, any sort of social upbringing. Um, it can affect anyone. Well, a lot of people in the past, when looking at diseases, looking at, say, for example, chronic wounds, have tried to focus on individual organisms or looking at interactions between organisms, which is certainly moving in the right direction. What we're thinking about now as well is, well, are there signal molecules produced by all the bacteria or a subset of the bacteria that facilitates or allows them to interact with each other. There's a new, a relatively new word that's come about recently. This relatively new word is a, uh, polymicrobial diseases and a chronic wound is a polymicrobial disease. What do we mean by that? Poly, many, microbial, microbes, bacteria. Many bacteria interacting with each other to cause a disease. In this case, chronic wounds. So with some uh, fantastic support from undergraduate students, as well as from graduate students from both Binghamton University and MSU, so Montana State University, as well as from Southwest Regional Wound Care Centre, we have had an excellent project going where we've actually isolated bacteria from chronic wounds. Can we actually listen in to the bacteria and see what they're saying to each other and allowing each other to uh, do certain tasks? Yes, we can. We can eavesdrop in on these bacteria and start to understand what signals do uh, what things in the bathroom. It's almost like Horton hears a who. We're actually starting to hear the bacteria and how they interact with each other and try to, to decipher how the microorganisms interact and can cause health or disease. The future, I certainly see potential strategies to treat such things as chronic wounds and uh, periodontal disease using uh, or manipulating cell-cell signaling. I think that if now we have a, a grasp on understanding that bacteria can communicate with each other, now we can start thinking about strategies to alter how they communicate with each other and then enhance our ability to treat these communities through antimicrobials or other types of strategies.